another morning again inside we had. Plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I'll just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really late like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So na that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Who say we go bring to na different guests them where they can help for talk about the newspaper? We are we are channel, channel, channel for the, channel people, for the, people, the voice the voice of the voiceless. <laughs> Another morning again is I we had plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I'll just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So, now that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So, not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Who say we go bring to na different guests them where they can help for talk about the newspaper. We are, we are, the, channel, we are channel, 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 channel for the, the voice, the voice of the voiceless. <laughs> Another morning again inside we had plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today, but this be small country we had. Anyway. Before I go to the wall and we are, I'll just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So na that make we they bring to you this program where we call colores. As we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So, not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Who say we go bring to na different guests them where they can help for talk about the newspaper. We are we are the, we are channel, channel, channel for the people, the, people, the, people. the voice the voice of the voiceless. Another morning again is I we had plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I'll just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So, na that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So, not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Who say we go bring to na different guests them 
where they can help for talk about the newspaper. We are, we are, the, we are channel, the channel the for the, the voice, the voice of the voiceless. Another morning again is I we had plenty of things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what go here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So na that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Usa we go bring to na different guests them where they can help for talk about the newspaper. We are we are channel for the people, the, people, the, people the, voice, the voice of the voiceless. Another morning again is I we had plenty of things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what go here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So, now that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So, not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Usa we go bring to na different guests them where they. Yes, different guests them inside the program this morning. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the first edition of a program called Yes, right on YouTube and on Facebook. Of course, uh, we get plenty of things them way don't cook for you inside the program this morning. The call yes, really, really ready with lots, 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 lots of things them for you inside the program. So, no going on side, you will get the best. You see, airline already. Um, they, um, uh, main opposition party will begin the lower level elections today as the 24 man committee where the ITGC set up don't ready for do that day for the opposition party. Waiting this go mean for them and waiting this go mean for them for the 2023 election. They can look inside all of them things they are so inside the program this morning. But in the first place, like always, we start with the um, front page of the different newspaper that we, we already don't get the first paper. We are the take this morning for you inside the program. Now the Aoko newspaper. The Aoko newspaper now the first paper we are the take for you inside the program this morning. And it gets banner airline. We say rainbow initiative records 2000 cases of SGBV in 2022. And then you get stop all unnecessary travel, invest more on agriculture, education. Honorable KKY suggests Fra uh, um, Francisc Franciscan. Raised 203 million for um, school fencing, and then you get World Disabled Day 2022 observed in Kenema District. This and other story there for you inside the Aoko newspaper. The second page now, the political newspaper we say KKY urges um, tightening of budget, and then you get Peace Commission situation room boosted, and you get South Korea opens Freetown Consulate. Salon braces up for measles outbreak. This is another story there for you inside the political newspaper. And the next one are the Night Watch newspaper. We say information minister assures mobile company. And you get SMPP cannot shut down APC. You get CTEX import sells expired food stock. And the, the bills billions. 
this is another story there for you inside the night watch the next pick get what do with the open space we say dark clouds gather over mmtu mmtu is suffering please intervene now or else this you get the pictures them of caretaker bio you get um the picture of the mmct um deputy chancellor and the minister of um tertiary education and then you get extensive public engagement okay tariff um, normalization again nasis dg um encourages current and potential contributors and you get and um, ctc mining company making huge differences this is another story there for you inside the open space the next speak for this morning at the observer independent observer we say as food inflation rate clocks 35 percent kky calls for more investment in agriculture and guinean sentenced over two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars scam and counter terrorism and um, conference concludes concludes in saudi arabia this is another story for you inside the independent observer newspaper the next speak now the voice of salon newspaper the voice of salon newspaper say itgc leader leadership pledge to maintain lasting peace in apc and you get american law firm sue sierra leone um for eight million dollar in legal fees and the mining sector ctc mining company to make huge difference and you get ncpd calls for ratification of african disability um protocol then you get this other one where say i am not a praise singing nor an obstructionist says kky this is an other one day for you inside the voice of salon and the next pick that the sky times where say MP, apc mp on the president bio fake promises and then you get over debate of budgets opposition mps disappoint honorable moigua and then ctc mining to make huge difference in mining sector and you get VIP group of companies to supply uh, palm oil rest to Sierra Leone police. And then you get 11.8% of Sierra Leonean sex workers are HIV positive. positive. Chief Justice Edward R. Farms. And then you get Osayo Kamara Eyes, APC Publicity Secretary, Diaspora 6th Region, and South Korea get honorary consulates in Freetown. This is another story inside the Sky Times. And then the next pick na the a wa az newspaper we say apc commences lower level elections today and you get magistrate mark mark geba sentences guinean citizen for four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars scam and you get 102 graduate from life by design police forces me to sign what i did not understand august 10 um, accused testifies and hrcsl host mobile complainants mobile complaints hearing in massacre town this is another story inside the az newspaper the next one now the saloon times newspaper where they say so support mining um inc minimal increase of telecom tariff and over 100 churches in freetown to receive free internet services and three gap 60 a million in MMTU pitch night and hundreds of participants in a free self return marathon. This is another story inside the Salon Times. The next pick for this morning at the Concord Times newspaper we say KKY demands cuts on MDA's excess, excess spending. And you get President Julius Mara Bio congratulate UAE on its first 51st national day and 11.8 percent of sierra leone sex workers are hiv positive chief justice this is another story in the concordia newspaper and the last one for this morning at the forum newspaper we say amidst turbulent um, media and um, citizens want new pilots and gtx import sales expired and um, foodstuff and that come mnos cso's okay tariff minimal minimalization and uh, access banks Leon banks excellent performance award this is another story there for you inside the forum newspaper well now the story then this way we get for you inside the paper this morning we will come rob much inside better better one well we go now to we um get for this morning 
We don't join me inside the program for let me talk about this particular issue or the issues that we don't basically come out of the different newspaper. Well, we guess for today, not a stranger at all. Um, and I post in this way, we don't appear and uh, it don't be like for say on the Monday, um, call rest now. This particular person is preparing for we very, very hot. And uh, this person in name, um, uh, they don't come up and uh, in don't they handle things then. And the very first time where it appear now did and the way it actually gets you know the the issues them where all just for them now inside where it get in speciality well today it is inside the program for let we talk about different other issues them where it will come out of the different newspaper them as we already don't see them and a name now uh, melvin yes melvin tijan mansare he now the resident reporter parliamentary um uh, press gallery yes that the parliamentary press gallery in a one of the strong person in this way don't they analyze things them as then they come out now the parliament it don't they put paper and pen together they don't they put microphone you know and the speaker together for make sure say people understand exactly what in and things and they they about well this morning it all journey hmm i don't know why i know it's equal guess it this morning don't join inside the program for let me talk about all of the issues them we are all read inside the program this morning. Melvin, good morning. Welcome to the program this morning. Good morning to you, Kiateka. Good morning to Sierra Linians at home and abroad. I'm glad for it's the good news this morning, like any other time. All right. Okay, so welcome one more time inside the program this morning. For let me rub more inside the different things them we don't come out of um the program. I mean the different issue you need for try give me call yesterday because I look the young too much this morning. <laughs> I hope you will get to you after the program. But in the interesting headlines and uh, interesting issues and like all them, we will take them for flesh them out for family and forget the perspectives, the context and the realities. All right. I think um that's wonderful. For let me see with everything we get for Apple. Okay, so we the start with the last paper I read. Inside the program this morning, we basically get for do it. Um, then say, um, amid turbulent uh, media, um, citizens want new pilots. GTEx um, import sells expired food. So let me start with the top one. We say citizens want new pilots. Basically, and they talk about um, Kiateka Bio. We basically, uh, in picture, they put here, said citizens want new pilots. Um, you think, say, what, what do you make up of this headline in the first place? Well, if we look at the critical lens, then we ask with the editorial balance okay. or slant of this paper. We will bring to mind who are the owners, what they do, where they do it, and what they are using the media for. But against that fact, not already established. From a new sense, we know it cannot be far from the fact that we are in, in an electionary circle. And the end game is whether... President Madabio, who has been endorsed, not elected, endorsed by his political party, the SLPP, who will retain a re-election. We are in on the other side of the political argument. She has other schools of thought saying that, oh, there is a need for change. But who will be the change maker again is the other question. So <laughs> it's an interesting story, but it all boils to the elections and what are the issues at stake and how people will put around them. Okay, so so I like the, the angle you come out. You need for watch first and a critical lens. Oh, that's the person B. Oh, that's the other. Oh, what's the motive where they use the media for and all of them things. And a very important, very important part where we actually need for look at at every point. Now, let's go back to the parliament to so say you belong. Um, one of the things we actually um, we see now different paper them now the issue of KKY. Where, um, they say KKY demands cuts on MDS excess spending. Um, another paper again carry this now from the Concord Times. Another paper carry again. I just watch for him quickly. Where he self carry something on the KKY. Um, basically they try to talk about the same you know uh, um, things. And where he say, um, KKY calls for more investment in agriculture. You know, as food inflation, you know, rate clocks 35 percent. You get other one, they as well talk about this same um, KKY in your story. KKY urge tightening of budget. So, please, let me go into this. You we watch this particular budget where KKY will be making presentation. 
Of course, I was in Parliament, and that was on the final day last Friday, where leaders of main opposition and governments, and and yes, the other political parties then made the their final submission on the 2023 budget. And it's not for me, you know, it, it, I would mean, expect this kind of coverage from the media first and foremost, the press gallery, where we will capture this. This are for me are the most pertinent and most important submission ever we see in the 2023 budget. Mm -hmm. This will be a submission which take place amid SLPP, the leasing without saying nothing, APC, the leasing without saying nothing, perfect decorum on the floor, which is quite unusual for even the leader of the APC or, 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 or the SLPP when they are submitting on the budget because it's clouded by politics. But for Honorable Dr. Kande Inkela, he stand out, I will quote him, he say, is not a praise singer, nor is he an obstructionist, but a patriot We believe in the progress of the country. So for me, his sense his stand was expressing those views, and they were very meaningful contributions. Whenever I ask the question, procedurally, for which as budget cuts or budget increments, Kiyati, can you remember the first time when you hosted me on the show, where we did talk about what the budget debate should be about? It seems as if on every weekend I do enjoy and do it very properly, Citing out where areas where they say there should be less expenditure, hospitality, traveling, and, and few other areas, recommending for those monies to be diverted to, to agriculture and energy. For me, it's meaningful, but what next is will this actually come from the next stage wherein the budget now don't be committed to the committee of supply and a parliament that committee is an options committee of the committee on finance? Which we will see for, from Monday to Friday, or which we expect for see is that Parliament will come out with these committees of sub appropriation where they actually check, where they scrutinize the income and expenditure. In another sense, mathematically, waiting to go to the MD in the line and spend. I'm sure at this stage of the process, the, those committees usually can come out with reports, and the reports then can contain recommendations. It's quite rare, <laughs> almost unusual. But then you go see content in those recommendations say, let me withhold this ministry or department or agency the budget. And the most common phenomenon, they will address that the reports that will capture issues of, well, over expenditure or under expenditure, but at the end of the day, we still recommend for more budgets, making quite ironical, paradoxical, and very unfortunate on the side of legislative oversight on the budget, where one of parliaments the most important important to hold the power of the post. So, what do you see in the budget? We make it an urge for letting and tight in the budget? His argument subtly or we not express clearly not that the government they spend by, they, they not against the priorities rights in budget allocation and budget direction. And although you not say so from a reading politically, he was politically saying, some of these sectors, we are not, we are not even put them low on the list of priorities compared to others based on the amount of money where the sector they, 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 they generate or where they don't spend and where they see it, it impacts on the people. For example, we cited rice and, 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 and importation of rice and the cost where it gets economically. So he was speaking from a technocrat's perspective rather than a political politician, but again, it was on the, in the course of politics where in everything that he said gets the motives, and the motive here is you get an executive who are for getting the budgets approved for around the 2023, when a very crucial and critical year of election year. So it's quite important the time is recommending this and the feasibility of the application, including the procedures that that are to be used. How sincere? Because whenever KKY they talk, a lot of people and they ask a question. Why now, or if you really mean her, or it just want for play on the minds of people? How sincere you been see like in, in presentation? You know, politics and sincerity are not synonymous. But having followed Honorable Yukela from the first day we came to Parliament, purposefully, I will tell you, say that one of the most commendable lawmaker, if I'm not going to generalize, lawmaker will we get. He stands. Sometimes you will see he's shy on taking this issue, participation on issues. But when he speaks, from you, 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 if you check in Scott record, he's speaking on issues and he's saying them clearly for the people to understand, not only stating the problem, but also stating solutions. So for me, I say, I make now once, I've been saying now once on mission, if there is any politician we for this award for the, the end of this year, I think Honorable Yunkela is one of the persons 
I will recommend because sometimes if he sits, he sits, but when he stands, he stands out. So for me, there's nothing about his sincerity except if politically we want to look at politically. But from the realistic perspective, what you say, adjust the facts and elect whether the political actors then will, then will take them into good faith. We are happy to say they're supposed for looking at the kind of reception within the media we made it up. So after this debate, we think it will be the next step. Now the, the, poli- the leaders then already make their own um, submission. After that, we think it will be the next step for the budget. Well, the budget the process, they move to the phase two, where now the committee of supply, where in MDAs them for long reasons, we can call them expenditure or records and the income, all looking at all things finance, basically. And they record the parliament for Lucam and, and scrutinize our well well whether the corporate will be given to the ministries, departments, and agencies then for 2022, they use and find, and whether they need it for them and get more. And I didn't support which job committees that will take like five days for get hearings with the MBAs and the other heads, including the finance and administrative heads. And after which, I will put a report together with them for submit back by the next week to the plenary. Okay, so, so, so we, we will find out, say, most of the term, like every year, when the MDs then they appear before the, the supply committee, the committee on supply, yeah, then he, then he comes on thinking day, then not he come with, you know, enough supporting documents them of how, just like waiting the audit reports don't talk about so, then not he comes enough supporting documents for show how they use the government money or then different, you know, uh, um, um, budgets the way they give them for the previous year. But at the same time, they can face some hard time. The committee can, can pressure, pressure them. But at the same time, at the end of the day, they just approve the all budget and nobody not able for, 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 for explain proper one how they use the last budget. I think that's Parliament and the executives' deepest secrets. What influences then those, those approval of, of the expenditure and the faulty? Many people then get views around it. Remember, we did Salo Road, where that Ghana must go scandal didn't come out. You, you know, you've seen several reports talking about weak oversight. What is influencing weak oversight? Compromises. What are some of these compromises? Very unethical compromises between parliaments and some of those MDs. And apparently, we see them they always say, let my people go at the detriment of service delivery. So, I mean, that, that, that's not the bottom line issue, basically. That there are issues with the expenditure, but nonetheless, more money to go to them in parliament, they approve them. Why? I think there is a gap in oversight and, and, and over, over, oversight sincerity there. Yeah. And when they see every day the old and the open, even without the, the audit report and all the debate um, and the and the, the commission and the committee on 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 um, supply, they say they face the same kind of problem with the audit report they face. But as you say, now big secrets between the executive, you know, and the parliament. But you not think say this particular committee, like they get different. You see, parliament really really structure by paper. The structure like the committee on supply. The committee on public account, the committee on different different things that we suppose for the check and hold the executive arm of government accountable. But at the same time, every day, every year, now the same problem, and every time then the short in terms of money. I mean the government because then they spend how they're not supposed to spend, and they're not even explain or they never even get documents for show how they use their money then they. So you think say with all of them kind of thing they are. We could ever come out Spanaka big debts they would take every day in the country. And that would be possible. We are in the account- uh, accountability mechanism the week. We are in the process system way for incorporating some of those leakages as you put them. They're not daily. It, it's clear. Except the case study we made, the public accounts committee. The committee, public accounts committee remains for be one of the most irresolute committees in parliament over the date of the Auditor General's report. And if you look at this committee, so be strong enough, devoid of political maneuverings and politicking, it becomes weak. That's why, in best practice, these committees should be composed of based on the parliamentary numbers of political parties. This is the way it's for make the opposition, if they get the number, checkmate the government. This is where you do it. You don't expect SLPP MPs them for who old SLPP appointees them of MDDs them, that's kind of stringent manner. But where you have an opposition, that's what they are supposed to be doing, making sure that those issues are pointed out, flagged, and even if the executive not no, no, no apply them, but people know that these are, these are the things that are happening. So 
it's scary that the institutions they went for safeguard against the linkages that they, they are also almost compromised. Okay, uh, the program where you watch the Congress on YouTube and on Facebook, we're live on We Are. So, we go next to the other issue we, we get. Um, but, but wait, before we jump in, something the way then quote again, um, KK1, he say, Stop our co newspaper basically. I just they pick me on that. He say, Stop, let me just see, let like, get some up for people for Sian. KK1 say, Stop all unnecessary travels. Invest more on agriculture, education. So, unnecessary travel. What did it basically mean? Because we see a lot, of, like the, the president, for example, they travel a lot, but every other time they say they travel where they go and they come, and they bring a lot of benefits. So why did they say unnecessary travels? Well, that's where perhaps the political king comes into it. Because it was not very descriptive as to what he called unnecessary travel. And he, of course... Politically, what you will call unnecessary travel, not saying people in the government will call unnecessary travel, but it was like saying, if you look at the, the expenditure on traveling, it far outweighs expenditure for going into certain service delivery sector. And I think that would be, be the bottom line of the argument. Whether those travels are, 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 are necessary or not necessary, if you turn the microphone over to government operatives, they will tell you that whole. Oh, they are branding the image of the country. They need to make this deep sense. They need to make the green come return. But some of the critical questions would ask whether those governments are cost beneficial. And where in your cost is outweighing the benefits, I think that's the critical bottom line way on every you can ask for the convey that you cannot be traveling with, let's assume, $10,000. And at the end of the day, that money they will be able to spend agricultural education. Go put the normal, and you never sexually be scanned and then and, and delivery questionable. So that's what it will be said, but not so necessarily government of Okay. Yeah. All right. So the last part we even begin to talk about very key because some people them they see them this way. And he come out and say, in not a person where just they come and pressing. And in order to somebody at the same time, we just the obstruct unnecessary one like that one day. I think for once, for me, always on they will for determine honorable you can lie in, in political ideology. His political ideology is say, say something when necessary and say it with recommendation. We not get many of the type. I'm not I, I'm not a PR for him, but of course I get opportunities for interact and question him on many of the issues. I'll tell you, we need more of the kind of Yunkala type of politicians because politics is not because of your left. You should think, see things that hold oh, enough of who, like what you see by the bounty. That was an obstructionist type of politics. They was not calling out the APC, but of course, that's the true definition of obstructionism. Again, it cites the issue of pre-singing. If you look during the debate, if you listen to leader of the C4C, I remember saying, I said, Lamina, it was virtually blowing the horns of the government more than some of the government ventures themselves. And if you listen to some other opposition lawmakers, they are also doing the same thing like pre singing. So we are caught up in a parliament or a political system where in, when you are in the left, you go obstructive. When you are in the right, you go pre singing. Leaving out the, 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 the fundamental issue of the real issues versus how they affect the people and why important for against them. I think that's what politics and legislative discourse should be about. And I think we need more of the honorable young killers in the next parliament. It will help greatly this nation. He's well read, he understands the issues, and he does not just champion issues because he does not want people in the grid. He does not, yeah, many people don't like him because for me, personality I see, he does not easily play with the gallery. For example, I don't give you an answer to this question whether he is going back to his roots. And anytime I bring that question, say, oh, Melvin, when the time comes, I'll get back to you on that. So he is a meticulous politician. You cannot, I mean, I think we need more of such kind of politicians, the kind of young killer. And we people understand get the issues from actually. Very much so. You, touch on, so. Um, honorable, Very much you, 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 you go back to Usa you come out, and Usa you come out that be SLPP. And then a response can always be when we reach that point. Always, the in, 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 in response, in response be when we reach that point, they go across the. So it shows how so, so even now, you're not even clear of what you want to do. Well, uh, um, you know, even come out and tell the public what you want to do because 
People be giving a serious concern from the last time where we see uh, um, the president go na in town, na in hometown, kind of you can in hometown. Also, he go present water and cola and say they want him back home. Where he say he old world. So from where he old world, say na he old world. Of course, it's, it's still old world, and he advises them still do consultation for what they land. And the fact remains that <laughs> it will get for reach the time for the side. It will decide firstly on the part. I was talking to an expert yesterday. They called me for breakfast. And the, 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 the notion is coming out that if I count the political cost, firstly, going back to waiting removal from the SLPP and asking self, are those issues addressed? If they are addressed, how? If how? What are the clear manuscripts for that? That's one. But two, how will is going back? Be received by, for example, the power pass and that of the the the, the, the two SLP peers. Mind you, his 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 ousting from the SLPP was not a sweet one, which we all know. So looking at those factors, for we as a political team, tanks or political observer, what has changed? What has been offered? And for me, that's just all the questions I I have put directly. So um, but sincerely, yes, it cannot be in the oblivion politically forever. It must come out. It must come out of the position. And that position will affect its NGC. That position will affect the Cambia votes. That position will affect its, it, the electorate's perception about him and so on and so forth. But more so, if I get an eloquent argument for either side, we will take because at the end of the day, he wants his followers back and he wants to get political relevance. So his political relevance with this answer to this question is another question. So, After so the question what decision now, now. If can the young killer be no old world, and now in young people them, when in strong men them, when in, 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 in how you call them? The, the advisors. He advises them. He right. a lot of advisors. He yes. advises them. They look at what thing be not happen at the SLPP. It don't change. Now the question and this way they happen. Where did they ask? It don't change. And then if you get for Kamba, what thing get for happen? Then possibly when they listen to you now, go say, oh my god. If it go to this extent for look back and see what thing be don't happen and if it don't change, if it change, we mean say of course it get for go back. Yeah, and for me, it will be hard for me predict. It hard for me predict um, whether I go go back or whether I go remain, and that will be based on the count. But mind you, all that we utilize is sort out commodity. Meaning, no matter what you say, SLPP one time, APC one time. Any super minded political party who wants them. So perhaps there's a people who want for just correct the mistake that, oh, this man was perhaps even tough, tougher than in contender when I mean, contender in now President Malabio. So if Malabio himself, we will not know or be that's politically correct or reach out in that open and dramatic fashion, they do that. It shows that he is a first to reckon with, no matter what you see. And if he's been lobbied and persuaded, the question is, what is on the offer? And I will tell you, the vision of Honorable Zimkela, he wants to be a president. Will the SLPP give him a room for that and without interferences as ugly as we see in the past? So, those are some of the issues. His, his political price is high, but the cost can be can be consequential too. And this, like you rightly say, people have begun for begin question now or in, 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 in sincerity in terms of how it handle issues them. Or maybe. <clears throat> This is now one of the reasons that we make some in some cases them in some on some issues them it can be dormant and you know no for be kind of that kind of critical people will get all sorts of things when they go to look at. Yeah, but other we can myself for ask yourself whether it will get the same political clouds as it gets them in the last election for get the number of seats where a party gets when have four from the NGC side, four seats. The question begs will the NGC retain those four seats looking at the, the political landscape i the shifts and other paradigms being introduced so just this the block so, so we see this kind of pattern <laughs> where they go on especially with third force in the country for example i can remember rightly yeah the issue of pvp under temu bangura yeah when he lost mm -hmm. the election when it be the, the force where he supports slpp for win the 1996 election then Brian came inside as Minister of Information. After that one day in party, we see inside they say to this thing. We see, for example, in 2007, 
Charles Magai, where na be the kingmaker, where end up for throwing heavyweights behind Ernest Baikuruma, where make it win. It not being go, but in most of the players them, like the um, um, give uh, um, Gauja, the this and that, you know, most of the big players them, be see say then take position na the APC, where na be the arrangements now and they, and most of them all is turn back until where this government don't come so now, like the Modre Kai Kai, for example, where you know don't literally it turn back to the SLPP. But we find out, say, after that one, in party, they die. Like, for example, the independent of, uh, um, candidates within the power right now, uh, Honorable Musha Saka, um, Shaka Sama, now the PMDC, the first time where he go in the parliament, the second time, PMDC don't go at all. You know, but this time around, as independent candidates, not under the PMDC, he go. So we find out, say, this is a particular style. After where the first time, they can kind of knock, 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 knock. The second time, they're not able to make her again. This go again for the PMDC. Sorry, for the um, C4C. You know, waiting at the chances of them political party. Like PM C for C will say, ah now nah, they fumble them because nah, they no more can no nah, they, they get seat. But you think say them political party yeah, will come in back na power or we will see the emergence of another third force. As you then a parliament, you don't watch his style. Okay, we wait for him and then come back the connection. Y yes, so you then a parliament they watch that particular pattern in the you think say this na 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 you, how you don't see this then? The one they 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 already then you come back. Well, this is not the question we I think all political observers they ask whether what is the what will be the state of this political parties post next year general election and it and for that head around basically you are looking at the potency of the SLPP and looking at the fact that APC is now a group looking at the fact that these two guys want to hold a state fights come. And, and the 2020 elections, I, I'm afraid that the life of these political parties are going to be on a life support machine. Basically, meaning if you don't have honorable you the life of all the parliamentary life, I would say, of parties like the NGC, they will just totally die away. And, and, and that of C4C also. So the thing boils around where their leaders will be going. And unfortunately, or fortunately, so. So these political parties, the, 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 the people who vote around persons, not basically the political parties' ideology. For example, NGC. Many people vote or deal with the NGC just because of Kanye Yukela. And if Kanye Yukela goes now to, let's say, the SLPP, where many people speculate, will they be going with him? It's one thing. But again, where will that leave the, the, the NGC as a political party? Nowhere. And same for the, for the, for the, for the, for the C4C. So the fate of of emerging political parties will always be free based on how the actors then see their political parties. And once we will lack, I think we made this mistake to build political parties around personalities rather than ideologies. And once so, that's the case. Once persons go one way, those political parties always will disappear, or they say they will go one way or other way. So, and if you want most of them thought first, then they are based on sympathy, make people vote for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Technical of consideration, the way how they treat Kanye Yumkela, the way how they treat Samsonena, yeah. the way how they treat, you know, yeah. now based on uh, um, um, even Charles Magai, because of the way how they treat yeah. them, yeah. all of them are out of sympathy, make people vote and bring their kind of parliament. Yeah. And you ask yourself, do, do we need to vote based on sympathy? Yes, we are human beings. But I think what you need to ask now, for example, Anna Yumkela, whatever job is being is gonna be offered, we ask if we get five years in our parliament, almost debate to debate, almost they're gonna constituency. What we are the things that you deliver in office. I think we probably measure people now based on track record and those track record trying to manifest to ideologies rather than just individuals. Say, ah, because I'm in Congo Cambia, I'm in Congo Kono, or because I'm in so so brother, or I'm in Kono brother. Those things we don't vote for them for the last four or five elections. And not asking for the help because he at all, and the issues are still remaining. So I think it goes to the question we always on the top: the way and what we vote for. All right, let's continue for the between inside the program. Now we'll just take this short break. We we'll come back just now. I just wanna get this feeling. 
January 1, 2023, from 12 o'clock Santem to 4 o'clock afternoon time, Lantern go meet Carnival. That na inside the Africa Caribbean Festival, we go be na free tongue for just 200 new Leon no more. And self, you go get one polo and one wristband where you go well go the program for make the organizer them go grieve for make you take part in the program. Can join the Lantern Parade from Radisson Blue Hotel and Bubble BN Ebenezer Calendar in Lantern to go reach Jigibonta Kappa with Caribbean Stranger them. We get for come from all over the world. Then self they come with their own style inside the carnival. We for take part na $80 when a 1,400 new Leon. And for that, then go give you drink and snack for make you charm and chill as you the bubble they go. Come see costume, all kind colorful costume. And so we no go left and give you jambo stranger them. We self get costume them. Costume them like feather back costume where you can wear with your polo or be the top. You can wear yourself with short trousers, boxer or other thing them. We get the typical Caribbean feather back and headpiece. And self, if you want for add some African flavor, we get Ankara top them where you can same way so use as costume. We get face jewel when I then shine shine decoration where people can put that in face now then Caribbean festival. So Priscilla's hat and accessories now one stop shop for all your costume for the African Caribbean Lantern Meat Carnival. Forget your own costume now for going to Priscilla's hat and accessories now you and drive off Wilkinson Road or call them na 078 681 471 and for your young africa Caribbean festival lantern meet carnival tickets call eminence africa na 030 200 555 or go na the office na 114 palemba road fritong no forget to forget yourself young costume for make we go show them caribbean them say we self can do them na for go to priscilla's hearts and accessories na you and drive off wilkinson road fritong or call them na 078 681 471 All right, welcome back to um, to yes, right on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, today we did talk about different issues. Them, and uh, we just don't conclude the, the um, waiting the paper them say about honorable candidate Kolei Yumkela. We, of course, in terms of um, waiting, he put inside uh, the discussion for the budget and waiting, waiting, he don't recommend as well. And we as well don't talk about in go one and the SLPP whether it's possible or not. All right, so now we can go inside the next peak where basically we go look at the next um, paper them where they talk about the opposition um, political party them. Let's just see what in this one gets for we inside the program today. Uh, this one when at the night watch newspaper, the night watch newspaper, they go with a big banner headline where it say it say if SLPP cannot shut down APC. You get the Fonts players then you get of course the um um picture of the former caretaker and by Koma. you get the leader of um government uh, sorry the leader of opposition you get of course Samura winner one time um, um flag bearer you get honorable Richard Conte you get um um caretaker Bio and the deputy you get um I think now uh, um JJ Safa and Prince Adi. These are the top players them inside the two main political parties them in the country. And then get this big banner headline say people cannot shut down um, APC. And you get other story them where actually they from other people them where they talk about this particular issue where we want to talk about. So like for example, the voice of Salon gets one where the ITG GC leadership pledge to maintain lasting peace in um, APC. Now let's go back. We see video of this particular um apc um front one of them you know as we can already see in the paper um honorable um honorable abdul Kagbo, um then chairman winner uh, um peter conte they all you know be they make this kind of pledge say they want one for maintainment for lasting peace now they see say hey SIP people not go shut down you don't follow this issue waiting a step like this because even today then they start the lower level elections what did this mean for the party? What do you think as a journalist this mean? It means a lot from a journalist perspective because this party they get followers. So for the news as to how the process get for Talek, what can go on and what now the issues then we from a journalistic standpoint we get that in today. But from a political standpoint, it means a lot that you get an opposition almost without the into a war, launch itself into a war within itself. And although those war those wars are not yet over from an outsider look of things, but yet still then they shelve or then they bury the ashes in the interest of well, what is recommended as 
the way for me they get a new executive for run the yard. I think it involves that they, they would, despite the disagreement within the ITGC, they are coming out with a, with a concerted decision and then go about for the waiting that they expect for the, the lower level elections. We know there are going to be issues around, I mean, who are the eligible executive persons that are to vote in those elections, but how they will handle them in tandem with the court's order. Mind you, the court's order is like the acts we end over them. When I agree or not agree, when I want to agree or not agree, we want to operate. So that court's order is like the, the, the framework documents will enable to use all the processes. So how they will address the disagreements, we will emanate or emerge from the process. Because mind you, no matter what you talk, you forget this argument or, or over eligible or eligible um, um, voters, if I can put them within the party or executive members or delegates, as they can call them, who are the eligible delegates versus what's the new or the reformist angle of it are concerned they have the put on the table. So how then they harmonize all that in the process again for key. Then it will come to the issue of the candidates, who are the candidates, what they stand for. Are they standing for reform or the Peter Conte win? Or are they maintaining the status quo where we see Honorable Abu Kagbo and some members of the ITGC that we don't need to take? So it's quite important and significant. And from a general standpoint, it's good for a multi party or pluralistic, or, uh, multi party democracy. Mind you, if APC week, it's not good for the democracy because they say absolute power corrupts absolutely. And it will just let the power of 50 factor or 51 and 70 the hand for abuse or use. So where they are strong, their duty now is to checkmate or which other we call obstruct, way not to appeal to the right way, but that is the duty of the opposition to chart the way otherwise alternative to governance. So for me, a very quite important and how they exercise and they get for their own food for paying keen attention to them and the issues and how they are against. If they are against well, it gives the opposition APC more chances for being more formidable towards the start of the new year, where really we know say sleep the night political or election year. So it's it's a step in the right direction for them politically. Uniting the APC party, you think it's a welcoming news to the SLPP? Of course, <laughs> politicians are always scared of themselves. They will not be happy about it. But at the end of the day, what they will do for express our happiness? Will they be manipulating institutions against the APC and, and their own interests? Will they be manipulating persons within the APC? For, for, for participate their interest. So the APC itself will be watchful with itself and, and, and make sure that they put safeguards for maybe they don't know the SLP because forget any influence over them. Of course, they get the greatest influence, which is the power of the incumbency. Adding any other influence again to the SLP will be what it say will be safe for the APC. You know, when we did discuss here then days there so people have been during the call time but they come up with um, some suggestion. What do they think basically about um, this particular peace talk inside the APC? Say, oh, Peter Conte, you know, the courts be don't get ruling against them, and they don't say if he, you know, swear affidavit, affidavit, if he pay um, like how many million, or he go na, na prison like one month for all of these things. So that is why one for as well, you know, make full face for make they get you know, um, get them around, I think everything not look okay. And after we done, they said, so boom, it go back to us, I mean, they, you think, na, 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 genuine opinion, that one, they? It should be very careful. I think what you the cost don't send to Africa, Peter Conte, that she cannot play with the system or, or a court ruling as she feel like, especially when, you know, the legal consultation, the way. So, if I be very, very careful, I don't think there is any room for full face liar. Because if you don't be part of the process, say it is implemented and completed, you cannot even go back to the courts. I don't think the courts will even tolerate that, even if they are not going to charge them for consent, of course. Because it's like you are wasting the court's time and you are unbuying the chances of a major political party. So, I've got, if not possible, the land, if not unless you say, yes, the courts might be compromised, but when those others you mistake for anyone, it gets consequences. And now we see a fine or a jail. Or a, jail, a possible jail where I'm sure you get the money for pay or you don't pay. We not we we'll not get updates on that yet though. Um, so you know, there is no room for fine face. Similarly, similarly for your faction, there is no room for fine face. Anything that do insincerely, insincerely will be a breach of the of, of the court order, and it will give somebody the opportunity to make prayer. But in this case, will the prayer be genuine enough? Especially when we see now they only speak one language of 
in the interest of the political party in the APC. So I don't think that would be <laughs> legally correct on his part. And I'm not saying okay, they can be still in the game now that the process is ongoing. He's been curtailed a bit, but he still, he's still got the power, his influence in the system. I think the issue there is the executive that will, will, will emerge from those lower level elections. They will be, at the end of the day, be the delegates at the National Delegates Conference. And that's the big game. So if you know, Alfred and I'm doing homework well for Canvas support, at, I, I mean, before now, I don't expect, say, I expect people like, to go vote for some of the people that are candidating. So if I don't do that homework, they will, and if I don't do that, very, very well. So it's, it's an interesting area because in your political field said now, they on the line because you're talking about lower level elections and those lower level candidates at those constituencies and executive levels, they'll be voting at the National Delegates Conference. So if you don't get the people and they, your chances for one for being the chairman or substantive chairman, then they will be in that. And you think, say, I mean, this reason because you need the, the, the lower level election for him to get any position you want. Now that make him really want to go on and hold the lower level election as if you don't go until the court stop him? Mm. Of course, of course. I think he, he's a strategic political player and he's very influential no matter what you say. He has not been around the scene. I remember interviewing him, asking when he joined the APC and he could not tell me that. Um, but looking at him, he's very strategic for the fact that look at the way he, 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 he secured that ICOS for that to put on all the activities of the APC. Mind you, these are big guns that he has slotted. Big guns, the likes of Dr. Anis by and others. Look at the way he, 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 he used the, the courts or the due process to, to get this, the, 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 the previous executive out of power. Those are not easy influences, no matter what you say, politically or economically or judicially. So you cannot under, you cannot write him off. But one thing I, I will tell you, he is going to find it very tough. Look at the, 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 the people he's working with, some of them I know from parliamentary standpoint. These are people who, who they stand by the ideology and waiting, the, the inner color agree. So if you are coming with something else. I mean, he's strong, but he cannot be stronger than the old political establishment of the APC, so he must be very careful. And now that they are going into these lower-level elections, I think they are going to be sending a message to him, whether they, they are in support of him or they don't like him. So he should be listening to the messages coming out from the lower elections. Let me look at the professionalism of the police in you know, maintaining peace and order in things that like this, lower-level election like this. We see inside the SLPP be all the lower level election. They get a lot of fights. Wound commodity this and that. But you see the um, police, according to the SLPP supporter them, be allowed for be used, you know, by certain key players inside the SLPP for even go against other people. For example, in Kenema, we see inside the people in come with a video say the police, you know, um, they urge um, people and command the police them for fight against direct now the face of other people then. We can inside free to outside. We see even pastor and mama and they cause them mama them and then they even use the police them. But he, at the end of the day, in as much as the SLPP, the Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs, has been saying, and not see any things they learn down and they but it be happen. Now going now to the SLP, the, the opposition, we don't see how the police normally can handle them. You think say we could get for see this particular lower level peaceful or the police go use their own normal unprofessional way for for interrupt certain things there because of small things they waiting for handle well i would say it would depend on how the the, the the apct people themselves will conduct themselves and how they know themselves and then for know themselves say they are coming from an opposition standpoint and those institutions not get a restraint they kind of get some for the time the, 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 the long list of analogy that they don't be absolutely correct so how they conduct themselves Therefore, I mean, for example, you cite the SRPP. We still only talk about that. The SRPP is still divided within itself. Nobody talks about it because they're in governance and they're enjoying the spoil of the state. The SRPP is divided between the power power and the SRPP ads. And nobody's talking about that division. And you remember our article done by Sui for way, if they talk about events that will be happening at the party office where some one day or some of their managers grab a tip to the streets and get all kind of apple. So these are all issues of domestic party violence. And some of you always don't say if political parties can be brutal among themselves, what happens when they come against other political parties? And that is scary. But the role of the police is... The program now, Congress writes on YouTube and on Facebook. 
and uh, we day on we yard yes we are so we challenge till the on we challenge till the on for people we no no we want for each 100,000 subscribers by um january but sorry by december the ending of this december and this december of course the channel in bad day they come and then me on bad day as well and then we get to buy in bad day in a january but we want for say please you where the watch right right now you need for give me you actually need for give me some um birthday gifts by way are you for hit the um, um subscribe button for we so we go able for each one hundred thousand by this December. So if you not actually subscribe to the channel, please consider for do so now. Right now we get sixty one thousand on YouTube, sixty one thousand nine hundred and thirty nine. So please we get a lot of people left where they watch where not subscribe yet. So please do so for we now. Hit for the like button, sorry the subscribe button, and please you will not subs not like again. As well, now for please do so for we. Family na Facebook, una kushebo, I wanna save the do day. I wanna save the on, una the watch we, and uh, we get a lot of people that we watch, and then the likes. Please, una not forget the likes. If you didn't have Facebook, you want for Bato we, for let we reach 100,000 as now we target, you can come over, check for we add na YouTube, subscribe, and then, yes, that is it. Put the notification bell on. Because most of the time, things that will post something can come out from the YouTube channel. So please, please, please. Help we for each 100,000 by the end of this December. We will get all who batted them to line. Okay? Um, so please, 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 let me go and see what's in the happen. Please, please, please. We get 61,939. 61,939. Now, the um, um, thing where we get right right now in terms of we subscribe as them. So please help we for each that particular um, figure we we want for each we are one hundred thousand. Well, we don't get some small each with regards, you know, um, 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 the line small each. Let us for see. Okay, they don't come back. So we just they wrap up the program. Quick, quick one. Let we see what they what they happen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for the break. All right, so yeah, we've been talking about this particular um, um, SL, APC and SLPP, the internal, you know, party um, differences, you know, and especially how the police they manage some of them things. And they this is a very crucial time for the um, APC. When Ming say you can't forget lots of tension that is not a secret, a lot of tension get for them within the APC for this lower level because now they then they begin for win different big national position them losing you know the lower level election means you're losing everything in the in the in the national delegate conference so of course tension get for day so this not the police in your work now how they go can inside if tension get for day how you go do because we don't see for example you tell me the problem in the serious one one set go ask the police say we want for all press conference can protect me the police will say no no protect now when I go set to a problem first, when not to their own responsibility that one day for tell them for go set to a problem, all they need for do now for protect security for them, you know. So if the police they take stance like that day, how you think say them good day in maintaining law and order? They tell way we go see small small problem they come within them inside the lower level election. One thing is the police not be professional, not only with the APC lower level election, but coming election and general elections, they themselves will be targets. And a case study like that of the August 10 incident. We see a number of them were targets. They are targets because of people's mistrust in their operation. If them create a situation for the seen as protecting one faction of the APC party over the other, then there will be a mistrust. And these are persons of the same political parties. We don't know how all man day and how all man rank day and all man your network. So the police, I think the recommendation there is therefore be a political and for be independent and therefore be very, very restrained. Restraint in the sense that, yes, also no guns to need to have before you hand, but also if you're able to prevent the situation from reaching to school to or even fet fet. So then for me, proactive rather than reactive. Being reactive would be a case of already violent to them work out with any for can contain. And most of them, generally, the police not get that crowd control expertise they that much as we don't see. And most times can resort to heavy use of force and, 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 and other tactics with many people around the criticize over time. All right, thank you very much for joining me inside the program this morning. I don't know if anything they we we know we know creep by the crowd. We you don't see maybe you want for taste before you go. 
I think that that's an issue of the independence of the police and the need for the work on themselves. Okay. Because if you look at the reports from the European Union election of observer mission and sites out institutions, one of which are the police, we need to build a lot on public trust in them. Coming up in the elections, a number of them seen as some officer then where they go openly campaign for political parties. And and for the political actors themselves, they for put the police outside of this. But it will be very difficult because you have ministers and people of influence we get already assigned bodyguards. But most times these bodyguards are armed and in that process they can use them for intimidate others. I think the big risk there is not how the police contain APC when they will clash among themselves if they clash over internal divisions and how the police will handle this agreement between APC supporters and SSP supporters when it comes to campaign and other electoral activities. So for me, those are some of the bigger pictures we will be forward we only for AI and All right. Thank you very much for your wonderful time with me inside the program this morning, Melvin. I'm glad for creating the robots inside the yard and this fine coolness program. Thank you. God bless you. Get yourself a wonderful day, brother. Yeah. Arise in name na Melvin Tijan Mansare in a resident, you know, reporter in the parliament. We always on the try for analyze things and for we inside the program this morning. Well, today na Monday. Thank you very much. I hope say so you will get a wonderful day as you day about to go to work or you will done in a work already. We appreciate your time one inside the program with we. Well, this night program um correct right on YouTube and on Facebook where the channel na we are. My name na Sebe Pierre, the Freedom Fighter. Until we meet again inside another beautiful edition of a program we are. Na next, I want to say God bless the country Sierra Leone where we call we are. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your share. Thank you for you we don't view. We appreciate you now all. God bless you all. Get yourself a good day. Another morning again is I we had. Plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I just go to the kitchen and check my colors. Yes, colors. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or places where they like pass all. So na that make we bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Pusa we go bring to na different guests them where they can help for talk about the newspaper. We are, we are, we are.